What's up everybody, Silvio 3 d right here, my name is Silvio, I am a 3D artist and welcome to my channel. As I said in the last video, if you haven't seen it, I will let a link in the description below. Today I will show you a simple and basic way of how to edit your render in Photoshop. So let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is to drag your EXR image in the Photoshop, select as alpha channel, but in this case it doesn't really matter what you select because we don't have a sky, our sky is not visible in the image. So it doesn't really matter what you select. Click on that little locker to unlock the image. Go to image mode and select 16 bits channel. So in this way, we have total control over our image and we can apply all the filters to it. Select the merge. And the first thing I like to do is to play a little bit with the levels. So I can give a little bit more contrast to the image and you can do that by going on this little button down here and select levels. And here just play a little with the values. I don't like to force it too much. I just want to add some contrast but just a little bit. I think these values are good. And now you can see how it looked before the levels by clicking on this little eye. After that I'll put some curves, just a little bit, not too much. I don't want to force it because we already have a strong sun in the scene, just a little bit. After we apply the curves, I like to desaturate the image a bit just to look more realistic. I think minus 11 is a good value and you can test it by clicking on this eye. Okay, now what I like to do is to add a color lookup. A color lookup is a filter you can apply on your image. And here we have a list and you can choose the one that fits better for your image. You can scroll to them by clicking on the up and down arrows. And I think this is a good one, but it's too strong, so I will decrease the opacity. I think 30% is enough. Now you can check the image and it looks nice. And now I will add another color lookup because I think it's too warm and I would like to add more drama to the image. I think Foggy Night is a good one, but of course it's too strong, so I will decrease the opacity, maybe less. Yeah, 50% is a good value for me. And the image looks good until now. Okay, and the last thing I like to do is to add a vignette. And I will do this by pressing Ctrl A to select the whole image. And now go to Select, Transform Selection and make the selection smaller. I think this is okay. Now press enter, go to select, modify, feather, choose 200 pixels, and now the corners are rounded. Now go to the adjustment layers, choose curves, and drag the curves up to make the center brighter. I think this is okay. Now duplicate it by pressing the Ctrl J, and go to the mask and press Ctrl E to invert the mask. Now go to the curves and drag it down to make the exterior of the image darker. Ok, and in this way we have a soft vignette effect. Ok, and that's it. Now you can see the difference between the raw image and the final one by duplicating the first layer and drag it to the top. And as you can see, despite the fact that we applied only a few adjustment layers, the effect is visible. Now all we have to do is to save the image. So go to File, Export, Export As. And here choose in what format you want to export the image. And that's it. In just 5 minutes you can have an image that can be sent to your client. But don't forget this is just the first step in learning how to edit a render. In a future video I will show you how to use the layer masks and how to take the best from your image. But for the beginners, I think these steps are enough just to understand how important and powerful the post-processing it is. So let me know if you think the post-processing is a very important step in CGI. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you learned something from this video, don't forget to like it so many people can see it. So until the next time, I wish you all the best and a very productive time. See you guys.